In our last how-to guide, we looked at assembling Master Club tracks. In previous videos, we've also looked at other brands of white metal tracks. One question you may have is how can you get a realistic finish on these sorts of accessories? An answer which we'll explore in this video is an out-of-the-bottle burnishing fluid that relies on a chemical reaction to get a convincing effect. We'll be using AK Interactive's Metal Burnishing Solution, reference AK159. This specially formulated chemical product allows you to age and weather the metal tracks. The longer they're exposed to it, the darker and rustier the metal's surface will become, thanks to the chemical reaction. But one of our viewers' comments asked if the resin pins used in the Master Club track sets will withstand the burnishing fluid. So we'll use those tracks first and show how the resin pins will be unaffected and the metal will be transformed into a really realistic finish pretty quickly. First, it's worth remembering to take suitable safety precautions. Protect your eyes and hands and use in a safe, ventilated environment. And don't forget to clean the tracks the day before with soapy water. Once they're clean and dry, here's what you'll need. A bottle of fluid, which will easily be enough for two track sets, especially as you'll be able to dilute it a bit with water to make it go even further. Some sort of tub is necessary. Also, a toothbrush is essential. Now you're good to go. Pour the solution into the tub, then immerse the tracks. You can agitate it a bit to get it flowing. Use the toothbrush to rub the solution into all the fine nooks and crannies. You'll start to see the effect pretty quickly. The amount of time you soak them, as well as the amount of diluting, will affect the degree of corrosion. You can see just how rusted the tracks are. We rub the solution in even more with the brush. We're going to leave it a bit longer. We set them aside for about 10 minutes. When you're happy, take some paper towel and leave to dry. Then dispose of the remaining fluid and rinse the tracks with water, being careful to remove all traces of the AK product. Set them aside to dry again and there you have it. A super realistic finish that's a lot more convincing and easier than painting. As you can see, the resin Master Club track pins are unaffected and the tracks remain completely workable. We'll repeat the technique on these for all model KV2 tracks in exactly the same way using the remaining liquid. Here again, the effect is amazingly impressive after a good soak. You can then add paint or pigment effects with ease to finish off to your chosen style. But here's something worth noting. Where we used blobs of superglue to seal the wire pins on the Frawl Model KV2 tracks, the AK burnishing fluid had no effect. So just remember to remove or grind off any traces of superglue. When ready, use sandpaper or a sanding stick to rub down the track links to show bare metal, depicting natural wear and tear when in contact with the road surface. Finally, here's the Master Club tracks on the finished Revel SU100, weathered thanks in no small part to the AK Interactive Metal Burnishing Fluid. Subscribe for our latest videos.